friends, and welcome back to Brent's Tips. Okay, so today I have a super exciting, fun one that we are going to do. It marks my very first video that I'm going to do in my crystal series. So for my very first crystal series video in Manny that I am doing, I chose emerald. So this is a big piece of emerald. It kind of looks a little bit different than what you think of in your head whenever you see emerald. Um, I'm wearing an emerald ring that my fiance just got me for Valentine's Day, but that's typically what we think of when we think of emerald. This is more of the raw version of the stone. It's a polished tumbled, um, but this is what it kind of looks like before um, they trim it down and take out the matrix and just have pure emerald. So I am going to try to emulate this specific pattern that's in this stone and to do that i am using all blackbird dips um colors and liquids today so blackbird dips is brandy's um dip company she is out in brunswick maryland and i before we start i have to show you the cutest stuff that i have gotten from her so far um she has three liquids available actually she has four because she has two um, builder gels. So she has only gel liquids available, base and top coat, and then she has two two builder gels, a clear and then I think a pink. Um, and this is the clear builder gel that I have on my nails right now. If you want to catch my video for how to apply that, um, I will link it at the end of this video. Other than her liquids, she has a whole bunch of different um, dip powders, of course, but she has other stuff also that I just wanted to quickly show you. So she has lots of options for little nail toppers. Um, these are little diamonds. There's little hearts in here. They, seriously, guys, it's just so cute, some of this stuff. Um, these are little bats for Halloween, Coco Chanel symbols, some snowflakes, little black hearts like it's endless super exciting to have all of that stuff i love it love it love it um she also has a large selection of scents um that she does in wax melts room sprays perfumes cuticle oils um car air freshener she has so many different um options out there which is super wonderful i love it now she had sent me it is um, a wax melt lemon tree i told her i wanted the scent of the holiday in lobby and i'm i can't even explain to you i want my whole house to smell like this this is coming out for her spring release so it's not available yet on the website i love this so i have only used one i put it in my wax um, warmer about three days ago and I can still smell it intensely as what like when I come into my room I love it love it love it I cannot wait I'm gonna buy a shit ton of these whenever they are available on her website um also she has like I said her cuticle oils she sent me a whole bunch of them that are also going to be in her spring release I think right now she only has maybe one I don't I don't want to be wrong um cuticle oil available but the ones that she has coming out for her spring release, lavender marshmallow, green tea and cucumber, whoops, rosemary mint, and then lost in the forest. Um, I can't even tell you. I love them all. Green tea and cucumber is probably my favorite. I just kind of, I think I gravitate towards all things green. <laughs> That's definitely, if you, if you are in my life, whoops, if you are in my life, you know, green, green is definitely me. So, um, these are super, super nice. So I highly recommend if you, um, see them available on her website to go ahead and, and snag them up. She has available. These are, um, the sample sizes. I think they are $3, I want to say. And then she has the full regular size, but I really like these little, you can just throw it in your purse and they come with like a little dropper in here. Super cute. So I like that it's nice and little. You can throw it in your purse. You don't have to worry about it. Um, also, so in, in, with the cuticle oil, she has room spray and perfume. Y'all, she makes her own perfume. <laughs> it's incredible. And her labeling is super, super adorable. The bottles are really nice. Like nothing leaks. Um, so I got this room spray. It is cactus bloom. Oh my God, it's delicious. And then she made this cactus and jade um, perfume for me. 
oh, it's heavenly. So I hope she releases this out with her um, spring release. I want an enormous bottle of this. This is, it's, I'm super excited about it. I'm super excited about all of her products, to be honest with you. Um, I think I showed you everything that I have from her. Yeah, I think that's it. So, all right, so let's get into it. Um, we're going to talk about Emerald just for a minute because I am doing this crystal series. So I think it would be kind of helpful um, to just kind of review the properties of the stones that we are going to go over because, to be truthful, I don't really know them. Um, I own hundreds of crystals and stones. Um, but everybody always asks me, well, what is that one good for? I have no idea. I just kind of gravitate towards certain ones. Um, and then that's it. <laughs> so when I looked up Emerald, this is what it said about Emerald. So Emerald is known to heal both emotional and physical, um, heart and love. It's a powerful energy stone, strengthening the eyes, heart and immune system, as well as the nervous system. It's considered a considered a stone of regeneration and recovery, assisting one in healing negative emotions. Um, and it also says, do not wear constantly as it can overstimulate. So not sure what that means, what it can overstimulate, but don't wear it constantly. So, all right. Um, let's get into my plan for today. So I am using, like I said, Blackbird um, gel base and top coat. And I am going to use two colors, Salem and Retro. Salem is a solid black, and Retro is a lighter teal color, and it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. So you can see there, nice shimmer. Um, like I said, I do have uh, the Builder Gel on. I did go ahead and do a layer of base coat, a layer of top coat, and two um, dip, I'm sorry, two peel base layers, and I let that dry. So my nails are kind of prepped and ready to go. I am going to do black on my thumb um, and black on my ring finger, I think. My index and pinky, I am going to do teal with some striping tape, some black striping tape. And then my middle finger, I am going to um, emulate this pattern in the stone. So we're going to give it a go. <laughs> I've been kind of dragging my feet a little bit on this because I honestly, it took me a while to kind of figure out what pattern um, I wanted to do and, and try to truly get the like, capture the, the, um, the emerald stone as best as I could. And it took me a while to kind of come up with it, but I think I figured it out. So um, yeah, we're just going to, we're going to roll with it and see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start. Let me get all set up here. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my base coat. I am going to do two layers of Salem black on my thumb and what did I say? My thumb and my ring finger. I went ahead with um, my one dip and I cured, but oh my God, I forgot to show you guys this. <laughs> so this, I don't know how I forgot this. This is my absolute favorite product that I have gotten from Blackbird Dips. It is a black rose brush and I am in love with it. Love it. I bought so many of them. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to do my second coat now. Now you can see um, it is pretty opaque. Um, yeah, I, I would say probably my ring finger. I don't even need a second coat. It looks great. Um, I missed a little bit over here, but I'm going to go ahead with my second layer. I went ahead and um, cured for a minute, I am going to do a gel base and gel top coat, and then these babies will be ready for filing, although I really have minimal filing that will need to be done for these two, but I'm going to go ahead and do that and just kind of cap them. Okay, so I have completed two layers of black, a base, coat and then a top coat both cured for a minute 
So first thoughts that I'm seeing with the black, no staining whatsoever, which is incredible for a black. Really, really exciting. I am not surprised, though. Um, the quality of her, her products, Blackbird products, are very, very impressive to me. So definitely not surprised, but love to see it. Okay, so next I am going to do my teal. I'm doing um, going to do two layers of teal on both my um, index and pinky finger. Okay, I did my two coats of my retro teal, and I'm going to do a coat of base and a coat of top on both and cure for a minute each. Okay, so now we're going to start on my emerald nail. Um, let's pull this baby up close. For reference, I am going to do one coat as a base of the retro teal on this nail, um, just so we have a good starting point foundation, and then I'm going to show you what we're going to get into. I'm super excited about it. All right, so I did my one coat of retro on my middle finger. Now, roll with me on this. This is what we are going to do. So I took just my um, gel base and put a couple drops in here and then I took a scoop of the black Salem and a scoop of the teal retro and then I just kind of mixed it up really good until I had like this paste. Okay, now I am going to do a top coat and then file it down, and I'm going to file these other guys down also. Okay, now I am going to do my striping teal fingers, my index and my pinky. So I'm just, just to make it a little bit easier. Okay, I'm going to put base coat, okay, and some top coat on the right, I'm going to do the same thing here. That is my finished product. I went ahead and used some lavender marshmallow cuticle oil. It's delicious. And here is my emerald. All right, so that's it for today, guys. Again, I used Blackbird Dips, 
gel base and top coat and then I used her two color Salem and Retro and then I mixed um, some of the base with the color and used um, just a fine brush and kind of painted it on. So other than that, I think that is it for tonight. So Blackbird 10 will save you 10%. Alright guys, until next time.